welcome to this video lecture series on transportation engineering in this session we'll discuss on the history historical development of road construction the oldest mode of transportation known were the footpaths animal driven cars were more popular in the olden days and this brought the need for the development of the hard surface for the movement of this animal driven vehicles the first road on which there was some authentic record was in the assyrian empire constructed some about 1900 bc it was only during the roman empire that the roads were constructed on a large scale which were commonly known as the roman roads the roman technique of road construction consisted of excavation of a trench of a width equal to that of the carriageway in a straight path removing the loose soil from the top <coughs> the trench was cut up to a depth until the hard strata was reached one or two layers of large foundation stones were laid in lime mortar at the bottom the thickness of the bottom layer ranged from 10 to 20 cm the vertical curved stones were placed along the edges of the pavement the second layer of the lime concrete with the large size broken stones mixed with the lime mortar was laid over the bottom course up to a thickness of 25 to 40 cm another layer as we can see in the figure of lime concrete was laid over the over this layer of smaller broken stones mixed with the lime mortar to a thickness of 25 to 40 cm and the top course or the varying course consisted of the dressed stones blocks which were banded in lime mortar to a total thickness of 10 to 15 cm the roman method of construction required much was was much more stronger than what actually was required for the animal driven vehicles this actually incorporated enormous cost of construction which was not at all economical the next method of road construction was the trussegate construction peri trussegate developed an improved method of construction in france by the year 1964 ad his method of road construction included this preparation of subgrade and a layer of large foundation stones were laid on the edge by hands and at the two edges of the pavement large stones were embedded edgewise to serve as a submerged curb stone as you can see in the figure there is the provision of a curb stone at the edge of the pavement the corner of this heavy foundation stones were hammered and then the gaps were filled with smaller stones broken stones were packed to a thickness of about 8 cm and compacted well the top surface or the varying course was made of smaller stones and compacted to a thickness of about 5 cm at the edge and it was gradually increased towards the center giving a cross slope of 1 in 45 to the surface to provide the surface drainage next the metcalf construction john metcalf an english researcher put forward his research in the road construction in 1827 his method included the provision of the subgrade drainage and heavy he stated that heavy foundations was not necessary in the earlier methods we have seen that large size stones for as in foundation stones were being used but in his method he used 50 mm broken stones to total thickness of 10 cm in the 
bottom most layer followed by a second layer of 37.5 mm broken stones with the total thickness of 10 cm and the varying course of 20 mm broken stones to total thickness of 50 mm. He provided the slope of 1 in 36 and uniform thickness for all the sub base and base cores was being suggested. Next, the Telford method of road construction. Thomas Telford began his work in the 19th century and he was the founder of the Institution of Civil Engineers in London. His method of road construction included the provision of a level subgrade to a, to a design width of 9 meters. Large foundation stones of a thickness of 17 to 22 centimeters were laid with hand with the large face down laid in such a way that it will provide at that most stability. The stones of lesser thickness were placed towards the edges and the stones of increasing thickness were laid towards the center. At the center, the larger stones of approximate thickness 22 cm were used in such a way that these foundation stones of varying thickness provide the cross slope designed by Telford. The gaps between the foundation stones were filled with smaller stones and properly compacted. The central portion of about 5.5 meters width was covered with two layers of angular broken stones and compacted to a thickness of 10 and 5 centimeters. These layers were initially ramped and later allowed to compact under the influence of the traffic and get consolidated by the rains. A certain width of the pavement towards the edges was constructed by the compacted broken stones to a total thickness of 15 centimeters in lime mortar instead of using the curb stones were provided for the lateral stability. The wearing course of 4 cm thick was constructed on the top using the gravels and the finished surface had a cross slope of 1 in 45. Next is Macadam Road. John Macadam put forward an entirely new method of road construction as compared to all the previous methods. Macadam was the surveyor general of the roads in England and his new concept of road construction became known in the year 1827. His method of road construction included the subgrade to be compacted and prepared with the cross slope of 1 in 36 up to a desired width of 9 meters. The broken stones of strong variety passing through 5 cm sieve size were compacted to a uniform thickness of 10 cm. The second layer of broken stones of the size 3.75 cm was compacted to a thickness of 10 cm. And the top layer or the varying course consisted of the stones of the size less than 2 cm compacted to a thickness of about 5 cm and finished so that the cross slope of the pavement surface was provided to 1 in 36. Now we shall discuss regarding the highway development in India. In the ancient times, the excavation of the Mohenjo-daro and Harappa civilization shows the traces of the roads in the ancient Indian times way back in the period of 35th to 25th BC, followed by the Aryan period of road construction. In the Aryan period, there are various scriptures available about the road development in India. The Arthashastra written by Kautilya or Chanakya, the Prime Minister of Chandragupta Maurya, discusses the rules laid for the depth of the road construction for the different purposes way back in the 4th century. There were punishable punishments for the 
obstruction of roads emperor ashoka has improved the quality of the roads in india for the travelers in his ruling period in the 5th century ad in the mughal period the mughals and pathans improved the quality of roads in india sher shah suri is still remembered for his construction of the grand trunk road commonly known as the gt road from bangladesh then in india to kabul in afghanistan in the 19th century after the fall of the mughal empire in india the britishers participated in the road construction for the military and administrative purposes the work was carried out by the british military engineers and railway was also been introduced but the existing roads were metalled and bridges were been provided the governor general of india lord dalhousie in the mid of 19th century introduced the public works department which still runs various public works in india with this we shall stop for this session thank you